2019 is not a, an election year like any other. It's a decisive election year for the direction of Europe. And I think we need to ensure as you know, party of, or the liberal family of parties that Europe stays on course as a project of free nations and free citizens. And that's why we're all asked really to contribute not only to our discussion, but then to go out and uh, fight for a strong liberal Europe, um, for a progressive Europe that says no to the fears um, and the return to the past, but that says yes to the future and to uh, progress, to uh, the promise really of uh, individual initiative, ideas for innovation. And um, I think that's worth fighting for, a better future for our children. So get engaged, go out and um, take, your, take your voice uh, and, and get uh, uh, integrate into the discussion of about the liberal future of Europe. Thank you. I think it's at the core not only of liberals but also of Europe. It's our commitment to a life, uh, a life in liberty and dignity. It's not just liberty; it's also dignified life, and it's not just the dignified life. It's also in liberty. And based on that, I think uh, we want to give opportunities to everyone, so we drive the progress for all. And that's the basic mechanism, I think, that unites us as liberals. Oftentimes, I think, if politicians are talking amongst themselves, uh, we talk about issue policy proposals in a language that does not relate to the experience of every day um, of our voters and of Europeans. So I think we need to find a way to translate really what we have to offer, um, the difference that we make in real life, and I think we'll not be doing this by talking about the monetary union. Uh, I think we'll be talking about this when we speak about a future in freedom.